So another really common thing to want to do in Blender is to delete an object or some part of that object. So let's talk about deleting both in object mode and in edit mode. So here we've got our cube and we're in object mode. Deleting here is pretty quick, pretty easy, and there's not a lot going on. If I just press delete on the keyboard, it goes away. We can also press X and it's gonna bring up our delete menu. And in this case, we only have one option, which is the delete, and that works as expected. Where it gets a little bit trickier and you have a few more options is in edit mode. So I press tab to go into edit mode. I can now go into face select, select a single face, press X, and now I have a lot of options here. We have delete options here. We also have these dissolve options here. And mostly I'm gonna focus here on the delete. The dissolving is useful if say you have an edge and there's a vertex in the middle and you wanna get rid of just that vertex. You can select that vertex and dissolve that vertex. In other cases, you may get some odd behavior with the dissolving. I typically use the deleting uh, most of the time. So here in this case, if I delete the faces, the face is gone as expected, but if I press X again and I delete my vertices, you can see this is a lot different and that's because we deleted the vertices that are on top, the four vertices that are on top, and those are part of how we define the edges and the face of the rest of the box. We can do something similar. We can go into edge select and select a single edge. If I press X, I can delete that edge and you can see the faces that were defined or used that edge as part of their definition are also deleted. So play around with the delete functionality. It's a little tricky here and there, but I think with a little bit of time, you'll be able to figure it out and get the results that you want.